My name is Merrill Dubrow, CEO of Mark Research. I'm a 35-year veteran of the research and insights community and the host of our podcast, On The Mark. Welcome to another segment of Merrillism, Letters to My Dad. Most of my Merrillisms tend to be very cryptic. Where most listeners hear the title, they really aren't sure what I'm going to discuss. Letters to my dad isn't about me writing letters to my dad. It's a little different than that. And before I tell you what it is, let me tell you this Merrillism actually started 20 years ago. Yes, that's right. It involves tons of people, many people I've never met, I've never even spoke to. Actually, many are total strangers. However, during the past 20 years, I've had some interaction with them, many really, really meaningful, that left a mark on both of our lives. And I'll come back to letters to my dad in a minute. But I need to tell you a quick story. I have three kids, and I'm not really sure any of them really, really understand what I do. I'm not sure they could describe to a friend of theirs my job, the decisions I make, the pressure I face, or truly what a day in my business life is really about. I decided a very long time ago, if I was in a position to help people, I would. That motivation for that, frankly, will actually and should actually be another Merrillism. Because of that, I mentor and help a lot of people very often, especially in the last year during this crazy pandemic. Because of that, I get lots of emails from people. And because I really do want my kids to understand what I do, the decisions I make, and truly understand who I am as a person, I started Letters to My Dad. So it is a book. It's a book that currently was started December 2nd, 2002, with an email I got from none other than a good friend of mine, Karen Flannery, who's an industry contact of mine. The first few letters to my dad in the book are from people like Val Maxwell, Linda Schoenborn, Peggy O'Connor, and my good friend, co-worker Janet Savoy. Many of these people I haven't spoken to in years, but they're in the book. Currently, the book has, sit down, you won't believe it, 80,153 words. Yes, you heard that right. Over 80,000 words. Most if not all of those words are actually somebody else's. A communication they sent to me, talking about the situation, talking about maybe how I helped them, talking about what impact I may have had on their life. Over the years, I've added a few pictures of my kids along the way, and eventually we'll group the emails into chapters. But as of right now, they're in there by date. Letters to my dad will be read and only read by three people. My kids, that's it. My hope is that the greatest gift I could ever give them is this. Over the years, I've mentioned the book to a few people and everybody thought it was a good idea. And I actually think a few of them are doing the same thing. In my lifetime, I do hope to write a few other books, but this one without question will mean the most to me. Thanks for listening to the On The Mark podcast. I hope you give some thought to letters to my dad. My goal isn't to have everybody start to write a book to their kids. If your belief is like mine and your kids or family really have no idea what you do or who you are, you may want to think of a way for you to have them better understand that. Who knows? Maybe a a weekly video, a blog, a diary. My goal is hopefully this idea touches a few people and illustrates a different way to teach your kids. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. My name is Merrill Dubrow. Thanks for listening and have a wonderful day.